Greetings, comrades of the Ape Analytics Discord server. I got something excited to show you today. We're going to be inserting data and updating data in a particular manner in a Google Sheet based on a workflow that we can create in Naden. This is super powerful because it's going to provide a central output or interface that we as a team can collect around and share knowledge and then iterate on outputs to then power other trading strategies, such as that which Skull Nick has come up with and leveraging models that Jaeger is putting into our modeling API. In this quick demo here, we're going to be leveraging Jaeger's new model for getting top wallets by token flow and dumping that information into this Google Sheet in a format that will look like this. Here, I'll bold the columns just so we can see those a bit easier. We're gonna be doing this in a particular way where a row will be not added if the trader is the same. So what we mean is if the trader already exists, we want to update their net flow instead of adding a new row down below. So let's hop into Naden and get this going. So I'm just gonna use a manual trigger because we wanna do this right here on the video. And the first thing we wanna do is actually run one of our APA models, which is the new model that Jaeger put out. So I'm gonna refresh our list of the different model collections we have. Let's do this on Solana. And we'll grab the token analytics sector and drill down into our get wallets by top flows. We're gonna have one singular input into this function that Nick made for us, and it's gonna be the mint address. And in here, we'll put the whiff, dog whiff hat coin, and now we can test that step and wait for some output to arrive from the Snowflake database. And voila, here we go, we have our returned data. And you can see that this is notably one item. You can see that underneath output right here. So we're gonna to have to split this array out into several different items so that NA to N can then iterate over this one item 10 times. So let's take these results and we'll use the split out node. You can see here it's asking for the fields to split out and the fields I wanna split out is this data array. So I'll click and drag that test the step and now you can see instead of one item we have 10 items each with a trader and a net flow we can see that being confirmed from one item here over to 10 items here all right and now we want to search for sheets in the node explorer and here we have append or update row in a sheet you can see there are quite a few operations such as create spreadsheet delete spreadsheet which these might have their use cases but for now let's try to use append or update row in a sheet and i'll show you why in a sec so when you're configuring this node, you are of course going to need a credential and anybody who is authorized should see Google Sheets account drop down here. So you can select to that and the resource is a sheet within a document. And what we want to do is have this Ape Analytics Google Sheet sort of serve as our central database for the team. We can have as many separate sheets as we want down here, sheet two, sheet three, so on and so forth. To begin with, we're just going to use volume wallets, which within this Google Sheets document. And so you can see it's called Ape Analytics. Let's go over back to the configuration. And from document, we should be able to see there is Ape Analytics. So you select the document and we wanna to try to always keep the document as Ape Analytics, unless we have another use case in the future. In particular, we're going to be running the token wallet volume model. And right now for our design use case for the research team, we really just wanna output you know, that address and their net flow and that's it. So I'm gonna select this sheet down here called volume wallets. And we can see that in the drop down right here. <laughs> we also just created sheet two and sheet three, which it picked up on, but we're going to be using volume wallets. Now, immediately when you select that, you might find an error if you created a new sheet for yourself, which is no columns found in Google Sheets. And that's because Naden sort of looks at that top row to determine what entities from the left here should be brought into this Google Sheet. So what we need to do is head back into the sheet that we want to put data into and name these columns. So this one was going to be trader and this one was going to be flow. All right, so we have trader and we have flow. Let's go back into Naden and retry this column request. Beautiful, so we have values to send and it's waiting for a trader value and a flow value. So we can just click and drag the trader address in there and we can click and drag the net flow in there. You can also see that there's column to match on. If you hover over this question, it'll tell you the column to compare when finding rows not to insert, but to update. And remember we said we wanted to make sure that we match on that trader address and we don't duplicate rows. So we can click and drag that selector, that trader selector right here. And now we'll be sure that any data that's put in is only updated and not duplicated. Great, so what we can do is head out and 
test this step. So let's press play. I'm kind of excited. Let's see what happens. Right now we have no data. Run it. 10 items. Beautiful. And there's our data. So in a similar fashion, you can add, delete, update, and then we can maybe even add another column if we want, which is tag. And this is where we could put something like save or delete this address or maybe. <laughs> Who knows? We can design that in the future, but extra columns are fine to add. So there you have it. Here's how we can make a simple workflow to run one of our models and then output that data into a Google Sheet. I uh, hope this was helpful. Oh, and you can find this under Google Sheets example. It should be shared with everybody. Thanks, guys.